Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials and Vlog, and I'm out here with another Walk and Talk video. I'm going to talk to you today about that age-old question that I just know has been bugging you for decades, and that question is, why do clouds always seem to be flat on the bottom? Now, I know that really hasn't been bugging you for decades, but chances are pretty good that you've already figured that out. You look out there and you see a bank of clouds and they're all flat on the bottom. And sometimes it will occur to you to ask, well, why are they all flat at the same level? Why don't the cloud get lumpy on the bottom like they are on the top? And I'm going to explain to you exactly why that is. Now, the main reason for this has to do with a couple of physics principles and you may remember them from high school classes or you may not but that doesn't matter it's really pretty simple the first one has to do with water vapor in the air it's an accepted principle that warm air will hold more water vapor than cool air will and one of the ways you demonstrate this is when you go outside on a very cool day and you go and you see the fog come out of your mouth, your breath, when you exhale such as that. Well, the reason for that is the warm air inside your body, inside your lungs, has more water vapor in it. And when you exhale, it goes out into the cool air. And that cool air will then condense the water vapor in the air into a cloud. And that's exactly what that mist is when you exhale in cool air. That's a cloud. Now, the Earth's atmosphere, it absorbs moisture from the ground, from bodies of water. When the sun shines on it, it makes the water evaporate. And the warmer the air is, the more that water will evaporate and become water in the air. That's called humidity. <laughs> yeah, we've all endured humidity. Humidity is that thing that makes the summer days not as tolerable in humid areas as it is in the drier areas. The next principle that you need to understand is that the temperature of the air on the ground is the warmest it's going to be in that particular geographic location. And as you go up in the air, increase your altitude, the temperature goes down. Now the temperature goes down at a rate of about three and a half degrees per thousand feet in Fahrenheit or just barely over two degrees in centigrade for every thousand feet you go up. Now think about this for a second. The air on the ground is at a certain temperature and it absorbs water vapor based on that temperature and the amount of water vapor in the air is the humidity. When you have 50 percent humidity that means the air is about 50% saturated or holding about half as much water vapor as it is able to hold at that temperature. When you get 100% humidity, that's when you get a cloud or rain. As you know, hot air rises, and if you've ever seen a time-lapse video of a cloud, you can see it boiling up, and it basically always goes up, and then it dissipates when it gets up there. But as the air goes up, it carries the humidity with it, and now we know the temperature goes down as you increase altitude and eventually that temperature will reach a point where it is the uh, dew point or the condensation point or you've reached 100 percent humidity at that temperature and at this point the water vapor in the air condenses now when it condenses it will do one of three things Number one, it'll form a cloud, and that's what you see right now, and it's just water vapor, and just like when you exhale the mist, the breath from your mouth, and it forms a cloud, you can move your hand through it. A cloud in the air is not much more dense than the air itself, and that's why airplanes can fly through clouds with no problem. If it happens a lot faster, and the water vapor particles begin to clump together it becomes rain and that's when you get rain because there's a lot more water vapor than the air can hold in suspension and if the air is going up really really fast it gets to the point that the water freezes 
and at that point it becomes sleet or snow or hail. And so we've got precipitation at that point. So it all has to do with water vapor and the percentage humidity and the fact that air gets colder as you go higher. Now thinking about flat bottom clouds, which is what this video is all about. Uh, you've got a certain humidity in a geographic area and down at the ground, the humidity is less than 100%. It could be like 95% humidity, and that gets to be what we call sweltering, if your humidity and the temperature are both in the 90s. As the altitude increases, eventually the temperature goes down to the point that you get to the dew point. And that's when the water vapor coalesces, and that is the altitude at which you see the bottoms of the clouds. And that's when you have all of the cloud bottoms being flat. And now you know why cloud decks are flat across the bottom. I know it's just an interesting walk outside here in this nice little park, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. You know what to do. Give me that thumbs up to let me and the YouTube robots know that you thought it was a video worth watching. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below, not only about clouds and humidity and why clouds are flat across the bottom, but also about how do you like these walk and talk videos. I've decided I'm going to do some more of these just because it's fun and because I like taking you with me going out on these little walks and because I can get some exercise as I do this walking. And so let me know how you like those. And people who are already subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, why not go ahead right now and click that subscribe button and then the bell icon so YouTube We'll then let you know by email whenever we post another great video right here on David's Tutorials and Blog Channel. Meantime, everybody have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.